The PM has added to the pressure on the former head of the post office, saying that he would support a probe into Paula Venel's CBE. Rishi Sunak has vowed to do everything he can to make the situation right, adding that he wants compensation payments to be out of the door as quickly as possible. In the studio with us, Conservative commentator Benedict Spence. Benedict, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Um, the Prime Minister now saying, mm. um, right, this is top of the political agenda. We're looking at what we can do uh, to make sure all of these people, they can never write uh, what's happened, but are due, get no. the compensation that's due to them. Mm. Um, what is currently being looked at in terms of strategies to do that? I mean, from what I understand, it's not the easiest process in the world. There is all sorts of complications over legal challenges and, of course, ongoing cases, criminal cases, investigations, rather, uh, against the post office, potentially against other individuals. So it's not simply going to be a question of saying, well, let's just bung everybody a load of compensation because the legal processes have not yet been exhausted. But I th you can understand why Rishi Sunak would want to make this mm. top of the agenda because, actually, it's one of the few things that's gone wrong in this country that you can't actually label as, as exclusive his fault or even... They're all um, mired, are they? They all... I mean, the Conservatives certainly are, but certainly this didn't happen whilst it was on his watch, even as Chancellor of the Exchequer. And this has gone way... This, this been started going on. before the Tory party. It started a long fair. time ago, and it's, it can be an easy win. If there can be seen to be a form of justice, you're right, people aren't going to get the exact justice that they deserve, but a form of justice, but that's going to involve compensation. It's going to be expensive because of the number of people that are involved, and I think, actually, yes, very serious penalties for those who are at the top I, of the tree. I, I would take issue with you. I actually don't mm. think it's about the, the, the compensation Having spoken, and we did yesterday, to mm. so many victims whose lives, you can't put into context. People who died, yeah. OK, and had never been able to prove their innocence. People who tried mm. to take their lives. People who, in their communities, Benedict, were yeah. ostracised and humiliated. Yeah. I think it would be very easy for the government... You talk about wins for him mm. to cut... I don't think they should go through the Court of Appeal and go through that trauma again. I think they should be exonerated and paid out as soon as possible. And with cross-party agreement mm. and a House of Lords that should be bypassed, I don't see how that isn't absolutely the number one concern going forward. I mean, I suppose it would be... That would be very... It would look very good. We'd all certainly agree, but the problem For them, is, for the people. Yes, but there are processes that we need to go through, and if there's any chance that it might jeopardise a criminal case against, say, the post office or against any uh, individuals, I do wonder if that is what all of the victims yeah. involved would actually want to say, oh, yes, well, we got the payout, but this person, the case against them collapsed or the case against this institution collapsed. Would they be sitting there feeling... I don't what, know about what Rosie, got? but what I found sure. the most appalling with those stories yesterday mm. was people who were told by their barristers, just accept guilty a plea, you, yeah. you won't get a yeah. custodial sentence. And the minute they, they did that, the, pros, the post office then sued them. And then worse than that, almost, is that the post office, in, in, the, the phrase we used to use for the Met Police, mm. is marking its own homework yeah. in terms of compensation. Surely that should be independent, shouldn't it? I think, I mean, that is a disgrace, isn't it? Disgrace. But it's very often... Sadly, it is very often the case uh, that people are told it's easier to sort of accept a, a minor sort of charge than it's fine. It's similar to when, for instance, the police uh, try to give people cautions or things like that, and people think, oh, well, it's no sentence, it's not a major thing, it's not a fine, I'll just accept the caution, and then they realise, oh, down the line, I've got a criminal record, and that's yeah. not going anywhere. So it's one of those things that you do have to look at, and you feel a lot of sympathy for those mm -hmm. people. And, yes, I do think that in the fullness of time, there need to be exonerations, there needs to be compensation, there needs to be um, a full investigation, but, sadly, the nature of our system, because we don't want to make mistakes, like mistakes were made, is that these things will take time for these people to get a semblance of justice. We're expecting to hear some kind of update from the government by the end mm. of this week on mm. any kind of new process they could put in place to speed up that. that. Benedict, the, mm. the first priority surely has got to be making sure that the people who are wrongly convicted get compensation. Then the conversation starts. Who was to blame? Mm. That process is going to be extremely difficult because the blame is spread mm. over many areas, over many different governments and many different individuals. I actually think that that's more of a priority in some ways than getting people compensation because the difficulty, as with very often in the case of large companies or governments or the cross of the two, is that people will have moved on to other departments, other companies, where potentially wrongdoing might be going on elsewhere, uh, aspects of the system might be failing elsewhere. You know, that this is just the latest story in what we've had this year, which is a long semblance of things about government incompetence and private sector I, I competence would... where the two meet. The health service, for yeah, instance, completely. we've had this a lot throughout the COVID inquiry. This is not a new thing. I would respectfully suggest, and it's not for me to talk from, from the victims, I've spoken to mm. enough of them, though, I don't think it's about compensation. Yeah. I think it's about exoneration. And I, and I will argue from now to the end of time that if they can't get their heads together, the government and the system and this country, yeah. and exonerate these people, I would say that is far more important but right now But for there to money. be a fullness of exoneration, there also needs to be responsibility yeah. for those who actually... Need yeah, where's their Davy? Never to Absolutely. be seen.